Welcome back to In Ohio Country today. Big Dan Wilson alongside of Matt Wendling. And Matt is the territory manager for Belco Resource Equipment. And one of the products that you have here today at Canning Equipment is something that I think every livestock farmer would love to have. Absolutely, absolutely. It's great for um, feeding hay. Uh, a lot of people call the wet hay uh, candy, uh, cow candy. So um, <laughs> they, they just eat it up. Uh, they, they absolutely love it. It's good for them. Um, it's easier to produce. And um, farmers seeing good results, yeah. Well, let's talk about this product. Tell us uh, how it's made and, uh, and obviously the purpose of uh, wrapping hay. The purpose of wrapping hay is basically to get um, your hay done in a quicker amount of time. Uh, you can wrap in your, your wet hay without having to worry about the rain and, and the weather conditions. Um, you can do it in a lot quicker time manner. Um, this is a um, single bale wrapper, so it'll wrap individual bales, um, four by fours and four by five round bales. And um, it's, it's a, this individual wrapper here, the Econo wrap, is a, is a two-person job. Um, we also do offer um, ones that are one-person operators. So. You know, one of the purposes for having something like this is obviously to improve the quality. And once you see uh, one of these bales busted open in front of some livestock, you know that they can tell the difference, and you can definitely smell the difference. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. The cows just love it. They, they eat it up, I tell you what. <laughs> Excuse the pun. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. So what's the normal curing time for something like this? I mean, how long do they have to be wrapped up and stay in bales before a farmer can use them? Typically, it's best to um, wrap your hay within eight hours of, of baling it. Um, and you can go a little bit more than that, but it's not recommended. Um, but eight hours, you want to try to keep it under eight hours. Now let's talk about what it means quality-wise and uh to the uh, health, if you will, to the livestock between this and the normal bales that are left out in the field or stored uh, somewhere in the uh, hayloft? Well, wrapped hay, um, it, it goes through a fermenting process, and the fermentation breaks down sugar content. It, it, it gives a stronger and better protein in the bales. Um, I've heard up to uh, 8 to 10 percent more protein um, content in the bales, which is obviously in beef cattle um, or dairy is, 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 a, is pretty nice to have on your side, that's for sure. What's the difference as far as the type of plastic that's used to, uh, to wrap these bales? Um, generally, uh, you, sun film, there are a lot of manufacturers of, of the different kinds of film. Um, they're all good. I, I don't suggest going cheap on your, on your film because, uh, you may save a dollar today, but you'll, you can potentially lose hundreds, um, tomorrow if, if, uh, that plastic does not hold up. And obviously there's different types of hay that's, that's out there that can be bailed in this particular style. Are there any particular ones that work better? Uh, among the, the different types of hay groups that are out there? Well, um, what a lot of people say in the business is um, it won't make bad hay good hay, but it will make good hay better hay. And, um, you know, you can't expect to, uh, you know, put put something bad and, and get good, something good out of it, but you can um, you, you can make very good quality alfalfa or rye or, or what, whatever um, you want. Um, it, it will come out much, much better. And it makes a huge difference when transporting the product, too. I mean, you're not losing anything in the field, and it's something that can give uh, our producers the opportunity to ship wherever they want to and still maintain the quality of the product. Absolutely. Um, another nice thing about it is that it'll, it'll store for longer. Um, you can store it f the wrapped hay for um, up to a year and a half. I've actually been told even uh, over two years, but um, they don't recommend more than a year and a half, which um, gives you a lot of flexibility in terms of your hay making and uh, whatever else you might, other crop you might want to put um, on your land. You know, Matt, during the demonstration that you showed our farmers here, uh, what kind of time frame does it usually take to, to wrap a bale? Uh, talk about the size that you are using for the demonstration and the amount of time that it takes and the amount of product that it takes to wrap it. Mm -hmm. uh, typically, uh, for this individual wrapper behind us, it takes about 60 seconds per bale. So you're looking at just about a minute to wrap a bale. Whereas with an inline wrapper, um, our, our Chemco inline wrappers wrap uh, three to three and a half uh, round bales per minute or four square bales per minute. And um, that's, that's going full speed and, and pretty, pretty fast. Um, most people cannot keep up with it. But uh, yeah. Yeah, to our farmers, obviously, time is money, and this is obviously one of those time-saving things that can save them money now and also means something when it comes to the quality 
of the product that they sell down the line in the livestock that use this product. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, more and more wrapping hay is 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 became, becoming more and more of a, a, a tool that people want to have on their farm. People have been doing it in Europe for decades, and um, it's it's the 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 market is growing in the U.S., particularly in um, wet conditions. And in Ohio is. Um, We've gone through a couple of uh, wet years, haven't we? <laughs> Let's talk about your relationship with Canning Equipment and how you got started and, and bringing this product to uh, the fine farmers here in Greenville. Yeah. Well, uh, last year at the Farm Science Review in London, Ohio, um, we were, it was our first year displaying our products here, and uh, we had an, an obvious need um, to find a, a stocking dealer in, the, in western Ohio, and I spoke with um, some of the people at Canning Equipment, and we um, they brought us on board, and it's, they've been an absolute pleasure to work with. Uh, they're knowledgeable, excited. Um, they stock parts. Um, they keep units in stock, um, and just really down to earth and very very nice to work with from a supplier's end. Matt Wendling has been our guest from Belco Resources Equipment. Uh, Matt, thanks for joining us. Thank you.